Hello and welcome back to our Camel slash Azurai Loyalist playthrough and we are here speaking to Mr. Emir Tayas and well as you can quite clearly tell he wants us to be an official revenue farmer who would have thought that oh yeah exactly anyway let's just keep it simple he's gonna take 900 and we keep whatever else we can squeeze out of them so in other words this is an opportunity to either get a massive amount of relation for villages in the in this particular portion of Azurai territory or we can get a lot of cash so we'll try it out and we'll see what happens I'll visit your villages and collect the rent there we go all right so where do we actually need to go okay yeah they've obviously marked them out that's absolutely fantastic I don't need to go over there thankfully so we can just go this way and take a look and see what's actually going on Ooh, we're getting a massive amount of cash right now from our caravans i have two caravans running as you know and otherwise we are just going to be doing this so let's see now we know for for certain basically that the people at the village they're going to be like oh what are you doing get out of here please this is unlawful as you can see right there and they are pelting our men with rotten vegetables okay order your men to break up the crowd by force bargain with the group agreeing to forgive the debts of the poorest villagers tell the villagers that they made their point and that you're leaving i'm going to bargain with them and agree to forgive the debts of the poorest villagers. That makes the most sense in my opinion. There we go. And we gained a point in charm skill, which is actually pretty nice. And we also gained, look at that, we gained two relation. And we also gained another two ticks worth of revenue. So in other words, if we were to leave straight away, we would probably get more relation. So I'm going to assume we'd get maybe four, four relation with every single notable. Maybe, I'm not entirely sure. But we'd miss out on those two additional ticks of the revenue which personally i don't know whether that makes any difference this is a brigand fighting quest as well not going to be doing that at the moment as you can see we're getting a lot less cash for this particular village so what we can do now mm -hmm, this is completely different here they offer crops and other goods as payment in kind so we can refuse the offer break into their homes and collect all the rents and taxes by force no offense, but I have no idea why anyone would actually do this. This is literally just going to make them unhappy and be more likely to rebel in the future. And I don't know, it's going to basically cause them to, uh, well, I mean, people have done that in the past historically. So, <laughs> you know, it happens. So I'm actually just going to say, leave the village, telling the villagers that they are exempted from payment this year. That's what I'm going to do this time. We gained three relation with village notables. All right, three. So not four. All right. I'm not entirely sure if I agree with that, but okay. Oh, there's a bandit base. Yes. Yes, I will be taking the bandit base. Thank you very much. This is absolutely fantastic. Love a good bandit base raid. Hopefully we're going to be able to do this very, very soon. Very soon. And otherwise, we're just going to collect the rents here. Okay, it's another 75 one. All right, I'm probably not going to be too, um, you know, too badly wanting to get the cash here. But let's have a look. A brawl starts between our troops and some of the village youth. Order your troops to try not to hurt the youth and try to separate the two sides. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, sure. We'll do that one. There we go. That seems... Oh, eight of your men got wounded, but that's okay. That's okay. They only got wounded. We gained some relation with them, and we are going to be able to collect the rest of the cash, which is very, very nice indeed. And there we have it. Okay, so we have succeeded in our mission, and this means that I'm going to have to go and find Mr. Uh, Tyus again and uh, we'll have to see what, what's actually going on with him but we need to go to this hideout as well and I'm actually wondering whether I can do the bandit quest at the same time I think they are outside of the radius I don't think that's going to be viable for us unfortunately but we're just going to fight these guys nevertheless because I would like to level up my polearm skill just that much more and hopefully that's going to mean that we'll maybe level up in the process too I don't know so we'll see what happens anyway let's just go straight on in these guys can literally just charge in there is no need to have any kind of you know delay or, or thought process regarding this because we do have some elite archers now and they are fantastic look at that damage really really nice to see immediately coming out there swinging and yeah you can see exactly the reason why i actually very much enjoy this is one of those things that i think i enjoy a lot more in Bannerlord than i do in warband the spear mechanics but it it i i it, it, no you know what it actually depends it actually depends what i actually very much prefer in Bannerlord with the spear is that i am capable of very specifically targeting various hit boxes 
of the opponent. So for example, as, as you just saw, I was attempting to target that guy's head, because obviously if you target someone's head, you do so much more damage, and it's not really mm, as easy to target specific body parts in uh, in Warband. So obviously that's, uh, that's a, a big boon for Bannerlord there. I, I definitely think the hitboxes have been refined dramatically, but there you go. There's two renowned for us right there, and we gain a massive amount of prisoners as well. So if we do come across another one of those, um, you know, manual laborer tasks, we're probably going to have a pretty decent time there. Ooh, hello. This is a masterwork fine steel leaf spear. This is much better than what we were using beforehand. Well, maybe not much better, but it does have some pretty good increases, and we're not really losing anything to speak of. So we're just going to take all of that. We're going to allow my guy to take whatever he wants to take. As you can see, he's got some nice little upgrades right there. And I'm actually wondering, yeah, we still don't have any shields. That is so incredibly funny. I may, I may, I might just have to buy some, to be honest. I might just have to buy some, which would be pretty funny. Anyway, let's have a look. Okay, so yeah, it's actually going to be 17 days. We have collected... 714 dinars so unfortunately i am actually going to have to give him some of my money because i decided not to do oh oh no wait never mind never mind i actually thought that was the total never mind okay yeah so we won't have to give him any of my money so that's absolutely fine but yeah we're just going to go ahead and do the bandit hideout quest because it's it's literally right here uh, i don't want to forget about it and we're going to be taking relief force of course plus 10 starting battle morale when you join an ongoing battle of your allies can be uh, it can be quite useful and we do have one focus point in medicine here so hopefully we'll actually get to um oh, yeah that actually reminds me i think probably what i need to do is make myself the surgeon right here make myself the surgeon and then that's actually going to make a huge difference to us because we we obviously want to get to 25 we want to get to 25 medicine as fast as possible because that's actually going to provide us with a really really significant perk and that's something that I actually uh, forgot about and someone actually reminded me in the comments so thank you very much for that anyway let's see what we can do here um oh yeah I can't actually highlight people unfortunately so I'm just gonna have to do this I have no illusions about it but it must be done and I'm basically just gonna tell everyone to charge in here but yeah you can see here look at this I can literally sneak up I actually don't know whether we can sneak can we actually sneak no all right sneaking is not on the cards unfortunately and as you can see, I can I can do some damage, but unfortunately, it is not going to be anywhere anywhere close to being um, suitable for this. So it is probable that I will literally just have to use my forces as a crutch here, which is not the greatest thing ever. But it is definitely something that is just necessary at this point. I do not have a one-handed, which is probably going to maybe change it very much depends i would like to get a manavlion if at all possible manavlion is one of my favorite favorite pole arms just purely for the fact that you can use it in any situation you want you can use it as a slashing pole arm you can use it as a thrusting pole arm and you can also use it one-handed you can use it two-handed it's so incredibly versatile hopefully it's actually the same thing you know that it was beforehand i'm actually wondering whether they've changed it at all I highly doubt that they have, but you never know. <laughs> they may have. And otherwise, apart from that, we should be pretty good when it comes to... This is actually a... Is this a new bandit hideout? I don't think I remember this layout at all, but it seems like we are achieving... Vic oh! <laughs> Hello there. I was going to say, we are achieving victory quite nicely, but yeah, this guy is obviously proving himself to be quite annoying. There we go. Eliminate him at least. And we now have 49 in, in athletics. I would prefer a little bit more than that. Can we actually get some more athletics? Oh, no. Okay, apparently not. My forces are just too good, and I don't have enough opportunity to kill anyone. There we go. Oh, yeah, no, that didn't get me anything. Oh, well, never mind. And we've got two more people here, I believe. And we should be fine. There we are. And that is it. Wonderful. All right, so we do have the bandit leader here. Obviously, as you could probably tell from my previous experiences with just fighting regular bandits, me and doing a one-on-one -on -one situation is not going to happen because I have a pole arm only, and it is a thrusting one as well, which makes it even worse for this specific purpose. So we are literally just going to go and murder every single one of them, and there we have it. Very nice and easy, and my athletic skill did actually increase above 50, so that's very nice. 
Anyway, we gained 3.4 renown. We completed the quest, which is obviously what we wanted to do. And we are also gaining a bunch of extra gear here. We also have a mount there as well. So that's pretty nice. And we've also gotten almost a 25 charm skill, which I got to say, I am very, very pleased about. Love to get more of that. And then there's also a tournament going on there, but I'm probably not going to be do that, doing that right now. I'm going to just try to get back to... Oh, he's actually still in here. Why is he still in here? This is kind of weird. Simple. Because he's lazy. All he ever thinks about is girls. And look at that. They've actually added a shortcut here so we can just hand over the revenue. There we go. We just gave him 900. And look at that. We gained 10 skill points. What? 10 skill points in charm? I can't believe it. Wow, that's actually incredible. Anyway, what we can do now is we can do self-promoter, which is exactly what we're going to go for here. And I'm going to go for combat movement speed, or we could go for hard knock. 25% chance of knocking the enemy down with a heavy hit is actually pretty fantastic. Mm, I'm kind of thinking, yes, we'll go for hard knock right here. And then we will also go for form fitting armor. That is definitely what I want to go for. That is absolutely fantastic. So that is what we'll do. Then we'll go over to the uh, mm, I'm thinking maybe if there's an escort merchant caravan quest. No, bet betting fraud. Ah, we could actually do betting fraud. That might be a pretty fun, um, a fun experience because I, I don't think you've seen that before. I think I've only done this once once in one series and if you haven't seen it before it's actually pretty fun but i'm not sure whether it's actually going to be that good for me specifically but let's actually have a look as long as the payment is good okay try to enter five tournaments over the next 45 days right before the fight you'll hear from my associate how far i want you to go in the rankings before you lose I'd understand, but if you lose every time or worse, if you overperform, well, then I'll be a bit angry. If you can't over, if you can't win every fight or underperform once or twice, right? Okay, well, there's a tournament right here, um, so I guess I guess we're probably going to be uh, we're going to be doing that. So let's let's enter the tournament. Um, actually, wait a minute. Let's not enter the tournament just yet because maybe I need to hear from the guy first. I'm not entirely sure whether he's going to come to me and say, "Hey, uh, you should uh, do this and that and this and that." I don't know. Let's have a look. Now, there we go. There we go. Okay, so we're actually getting a, a bit of a, a meeting with this fellow right here. Uh, you don't need to know my name, but suffice to say that we're both friends of Athra the Lamb. Here's his message for you. Win this tournament. Okay, let's do it. Let's try to win the tournament. This is going to be a bit, a bit harsh, I feel. Um, but who knows? Maybe we'll be okay. As long as my AI friends don't do absolutely stupid things, which they have done multiple times in a row now. I would be very pleased if they don't. Yeah, let's just... There we go. I'm just going to literally continue attacking like so. Okay, I'm going to try to eliminate the archer. There we go. Nice. Nice. Yes, there we are. That was actually not too bad. Maybe I... Hmm, I should probably get myself a one-handed just so that I have a backup weapon of some kind. But I kind of want to force myself to use the pole arm as much as possible when I'm doing field battles and things. So... That's the main reason why I don't have the one-handed, even though, to be fair, in Bannerlord, having a one-handed is not that useful on horseback. So maybe I can, I don't know, maybe I can get away with it a little bit. I don't know, maybe that's going to be something that we should probably do. Although, to be fair, if you do have a good one-handed, you can probably do quite well on, on horseback with it. But as you can see, look at this. It's not that effective in comparison to a spear. It is very, very good having a spear on horseback. I mean, literally, you see how much damage I'm actually capable of doing here. And it's probably just because of my one-handed skill, but it's also because this guy has really, really good armor. So that is, of course, contributing to the overall factor that I just literally cannot do any damage to him. And, of course, we're probably not hitting him with any speed bonus. Or, or maybe I'm just terrible, because look at that, three damage. <laughs> three damage. Oh, wow, that's actually crazy. All right, so we've got a thrown weapon here. Okay, yeah, the green team and the yellow team are both firing at me, which is absolutely hilarious. Let's just keep them both on the screen right now so I can see the projectiles. We're going to have to look at both of them at the same time. Uh, yeah, good luck. Good luck doing that. Yes, there we go. Okay, that actually worked out quite nicely. Let's try and hit this fellow if we can. And yeah, there we go. Nice, nice. Nice, there we go, headshot, and maybe we can hit this fellow as well, nice, there's another headshot, can I hit this last fellow, I highly doubt it, uh, yeah, that's, oh dear, I'm not a big fan of this, actually, 
Oh, oh, no, no, might be okay, might be okay. He's lowering his guard, he's lowering his guard. We're, we're, we've got him out of rhythm. We got him completely out of rhythm right there. He thought to himself, yeah, he was absolutely going to get us, but no. Thankfully, we were able to take him down. Now, technically, what you can do, as is, uh, as has been mentioned, obviously, in the, in the comments, you can technically eliminate the enemy's shield in these situations. So you can try to use your thrown weapons to eliminate the shield, but you could also just try to deal damage to them and hopefully get a headshot or two, and that could definitely get you the win, potentially, but obviously it is very much a case of, well, <laughs> are you lucky, are you not? Yeah, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. Okay, wait a minute. This is going to be a little bit tricky for me. Oh, that was close. Did you see that? We all literally almost lost. Wouldn't that have been terrible? All right, so we need to win the tournament for the betting fraud. So let's see if we can actually make it. Okay, I'm just going to... Oh, almost hit that guy from all the way over there. There we go. We hit him. 43 damage is pretty decent. 47 damage. Can I hit him once again? Yes, I can. With a headshot, no less. And we actually gained a level as a result, too. Very nice indeed. There we go. So we got 1,500 from the bets. We also gained 6 Renown because, of course, we now have 25 Charm and I've taken that wonderful perk. So we are now gaining even more Renown than we were beforehand. Technically, if you wanted to be as efficient as possible with this, you try to do as many tasks as possible early on to get relation with people so that you could level up your Charm skill really, really fast, get to 25, and then you'd be able to just power level your Renown as fast as you possibly can. Anyway, there we go. We were actually able to do that. And I would like to enter the arena because I want to see where the other tournaments are so that we can complete the betting fraud. I'm not going to show every single round of every single tournament, of course. Um, so, you know, we're just going to see what happens. Okay, Kasira. Wow, that's really, really close by. Word does travel fast in the small town. Yeah. All right, so this guy gave me around 528. I think that was from him. I don't know whether that was my uh, my my daily wage or whatever. But yeah, anyway, let's uh, let's try this out. What what do I have to do? Did he did he actually tell me what I had to do? He told me what I had to do, but now I can't see what it is. Source code is not time travel. Well, this is the wonderful thing about creating a series uh, and recording it, obviously. I was able to stop the recording, take a look at my footage, and then I saw that I have to win the tournament. So <laughs> that's actually fantastic for someone like me who has a terrible memory. So yeah, anyway, there we go. Let's do this. And uh, yeah, so we have to win it. We have to win the tournament. And I'll show you the first round, and then I'll show you maybe like the, uh, the second round, uh, second last round, shall we say, and then we'll go on from there hopeful that we'll be able to maybe just do this. I mean, I personally feel like the earlier rounds are the most dangerous for me because of the way that we have to rely on our uh, teammates quite often. So that's usually a thing that we need to be very careful of. There we go. Nice. And yeah, there we go. Take him down. Well, there was a wonderful headshot. Yes, absolutely. Look at that. 67 damage to the head right there. And we can now do another round against this guy. Hopefully we will be able to achieve victory. Let's do this. Come on now. Why, why? I don't know what it is, but whenever I'm literally commentating, I just, I just lose all skill for some reason. I don't know why, but there you go. That's it. Okay, we'll, we'll probably be able to... Yes, she didn't even switch to her melee weapon before we before we entered melee so there you go <laughs> that was easy enough wasn't it anyway there we go that's another victory for us and we're gaining renown here this is the thing you got to realize doing a betting fraud quest is not just about this initial thing okay he's giving me 250 here's the payment as promised all right well 250 is not that much but we are also gaining the money from the victory at the tournament so obviously that's kind of a big deal however I'm wondering how it's going to go if they tell me to lose in like the, uh, I, I don't know. I'm going to level up my one handed a little bit now. Uh, I wonder how it's going to be if they tell me to lose in like the second round or something like that. I wonder how that's going to be handled or how much they're actually going to give me. Because if they give me 250 for losing in the second round, I think that's all right. Because it doesn't really tell me that I need to spend a huge amount of time. Poros or Vostrum, that's where we need to go now. So let's actually just have a quick look here. Poros or Vostrum. Vostrum is over there, Poros is over there. That is actually really, really far away, and I'm not a big fan of that, but 
My caravans are hopefully going to continue giving me cash. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be the case, as you can see right here. My caravan and party income is is abysmal. I'm actually not sh not too sure why that is. Okay, that's very strange. Well, hopefully that's not going to remain that way. Hopefully we are going to start. There we go. There we go. We're going to make a load of cash next next time. There we go. 815. Very nice indeed. There's Vostrum and there's the tournament. Now, what I'd like to also do is find Aha. Find another companion. And this is exactly who I'm talking about. We're going to find this fellow and we're literally just going to get another caravan straight up. So that's what we're going to go for here. Another 10,000. Going to make this guy. This this guy? This because his name's Undgar. So yes, this guy instead of this guy. Yes, indeed. We're going to make him the, uh, <laughs> the leader of this. All right, so we have to lose this tournament at the third round. All right, lose the tournament at the third round. Third round, third round. Let me see if I can actually remember that. So third round is here. All right, so that's the penultimate round. That's absolutely fine. Okay, is it though? Is it absolutely fine? I might actually lose because there's an Imperial Vanguard, actually not Imperial Legionary that we have to defeat here. So this might be a little bit, uh, this might be a bit iffy as you can see. Oh, this is going to be harsh, I think. Or maybe not. Maybe not. We were able to achieve victory there. Now it is a free for all. Okay, um, you know what I'm going <laughs> to... I'm just going to sit back here. I'm just going to sit back here and do nothing much. And I'm just going to allow these guys to literally do whatever. Wait a minute, how did he kill that guy? It said that he killed him with a crossbow, but they were in melee, right? Or was that... is that is that untrue? I'm actually not entirely sure. But yeah, two Imperial Sergeant crossbowmen. These are going to be pretty harsh for us to defeat, I think. There we go. Okay, yeah, should be fine. Yeah, look at that. He's taken such significant damage. Okay, so now we have to lose. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure how that's going to go. Um, I, well, why am I betting, by the way? Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, why was I betting this entire time? I am an absolute imbecile. I have no idea. Oh, well, never mind. What we're going to do, though, is we are literally just going to... Um, just going to stand here. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, oh no, my blue team member is actually doing a good job. Oh no, he's actually... What? How did he kill Abelitos? You better not, you better not win. You better not win, Imperial trained f infantryman. <laughs> Messing it up for me. My whole betting fraud thing. That would be terrible. Anyway, there you go. We did manage to, uh, to lose and Abelitos actually won. There we go. I was eliminated at round three, which is exactly what we were supposed to do. Can you imagine? Can you imagine literally? <laughs> I can imagine. Wait a minute. This has happened to me in the past as well, where I've been doing a quest and someone literally comments, why are you doing it this way? And I, it's actually the way I'm supposed to do the quest. And it must be because they have literally just missed the whole first portion of the episode or something like that. And they just come in at this at this moment and be like, what? What is going on? You know, that sort of thing. Anyway, I hope we can continue this profitable partnership. So he did give me 250 for losing in the third round. Not entirely sure if I really agree with that. Maybe they're going to give me a lump sum at the end. Whoa, that's a lot of looters. We're just harmless. That's a lot of looters. All right, yeah, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go in and fight these guys, that's for sure. This is going to be absolutely perfect. And, uh, oh, I like, the, I like the battlefields. I like the battlefields. These are nice. Anyway, let's just do a nice little auto-resolve, auto auto-delegate here, not an auto-resolve. And we will just try to get as much pole arm skill as we can. And of course, um, well, it's probably not going to give me that much because let's face it, these are just looters, but it's all right. You know, it's all right. I would like to try and get some. Um, oh, yeah, because I'm in Empire territory actually right now. I would be able to buy a uh, buy a pole arm that might actually be really, really good. Like, for example, the Manavlion, like I was talking about uh, beforehand. And, oh, yes, my medicine skill's actually advancing. Oh, that's nice. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm literally just going to move away from here. Am, am I losing my forces right now? I am losing my forces, but I'm actually just going to um, sort of extract myself from the situation for the moment. Because what I actually want to do is get some more medicine skill if I can. 
because I have made myself the surgeon. And there you go. As you can see, my medicine skill is leveling up quite dramatically, actually. We had 19, I think, and now we have 22. So maybe if I can get another couple of points, I would actually be very, very pleased with that. We are losing a lot of troops, though, as you can see. Wow, I'm actually super surprised. These are literally just looters. But I guess that's what happens, you know? I guess that's what happens when you're... When your troops are literally just taking massive damage from the stones or something. I know how effective the stone throw can actually be. It does massive damage. So it's quite surprising. But yeah, I guess my forces just don't really... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure what to say to it, to be honest. Because they just... I don't know. I mean, my forces should technically be absolutely fine with dealing with these fellows. But apparently not. Apparently they're having some big issues. I'm not entirely sure why these guys are not hitting. I mean, look at this. They're not actually hitting with their bows at all. Oh, there you go. That that guy actually hit. Is it is it is it because they're on camels? Is that the is that the question right here? Because look at this. Look at what's happening right now. Look at these guys right here. Three, four enemies. Actually, more of them. Ah, they are actually starting to take some some damage now. Um, but yeah, that is quite strange. I mean, I, I don't actually know how, uh, what, what kind of skills my elite camel archers have, but I should probably check them out because, um, maybe we just need to go for noble troops, you know? Going for some noble troops might actually make the most sense at this point because we have a pretty decent economy, uh, up and running right now, so it might might be uh, making a huge difference to us. So we'll just take a couple of them prisoner. Obviously, it's not really going to do much. Uh, we'll take some of these. We'll get some camel archers. I don't have enough war mounts to be able to get more elite camel archers. And as you can see, and let me just take a look at their stats real fast. These fellows have 200 in bows. 200 in bows. And they're using this bow, which is actually a pretty fantastic bow in my opinion. It's got 94 accuracy and 62 damage. So I'm not entirely sure why they would be missing. I, uh, I don't know why they'd be missing the opponent. Maybe... Um, I don't know, maybe as I say, I do need to upgrade to noble troops, which is not that big a deal. I should be able to do that without too many issues. Hopefully my medicine skill is also going to be advancing in the time it takes us to get over here. Oh, never mind. All my forces actually have already uh, renewed themselves. I was actually hoping that the ones that were knocked unconscious would actually, um, you know need some medical attention I guess anyway let's have a look here all right so this is maybe going to be a bit difficult okay uh win this tournament oh I actually don't think I can do that <laughs> to be honest I don't think I can do that there's a bunch of lords in this one and you know how effective they can be sometimes uh yeah this this might be this might be a little bit a little bit iffy Maybe. Oh, no, no, he's dead. He's dead. Okay, that's nice. Yes. Yes, my friend. Yes. Yes, help me. Yes, kill this fellow. I will face him. I'll face his back to you. There we are. Okay, that's absolutely fantastic. No one behind me. All right, so we should be fine now. Maybe. Yeah, I think we should be okay. Yeah, okay. Well, this guy literally... Oh, yeah, Satros literally carried us. <laughs> carried us on his back. That was literally what was going on there. And, oh, a one versus one situation in a free-for-all. All right, and I'm actually up against Satros himself. I'm not a big fan of that. Ow. Yeah. Okay, this is, uh, this is going to be a bit, uh, going to be a bit dicey. I'm literally just going to wait for the red team member to come over here and distract. Are you serious? Yeah, no, no, no. You attack green. Yes, you attack. Oh, no, of course. Of course. Did you see exactly what happened right there? The enemy, the red team, literally just avoided attacking Satros and just completely ignored him. <laughs> completely ignored him because he wanted to kill me. That is so funny. Ah, uh, what a classic. That is literally what I've been talking about the entire time, actually. It's just like, why? Why do they do that? Why, why are they just ignoring other enemies in favor of killing the player, especially in a tournament situation? That doesn't make any sense. At least, I don't think so. Okay, we can do some damage here. Nice, nice. Yeah, there we go. There's some nice hits right there. Very, very nice. All right, so there we go. This is the final round. We're up against Joron. He is, of course, going to be the toughest. 
I believe. Nice. Okay, we got him off. Off rhythm. Off rhythm. Oh no. Oh dear. He's got a really, really good one-handed skill, I think. Oh, I was taking a big risk right there. <laughs> I was definitely taking a big risk. I thought to myself, okay, we got to go for it right here. If we don't go for it, then it's probable that he's just going to continue trying to destroy our shield and then eventually we're going to die. But there you go. We actually did manage to achieve victory there. Whew. These guys are so incredibly tough in the tournaments now. And there you go. So we did gain another 250. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think the, oh, Caravan Ambush. Oh, they're really giving me um, significant pause for thought here because I'm thinking to myself, yeah, I probably want to do something about that, don't I? Yeah, I probably want to do that. Okay, let's just sell this for 2000 Do we have anything else that I want to use? I mean, generally, the Knight's Fall Mace that we just gained is actually a really pretty decent weapon to use in... Uh, um, in close combat. So I'm actually thinking to myself, yeah, maybe we should go for that. Why not? Because that's going to be our one-handed, I guess. That will be our one-handed for close quarters combat or something like that. And otherwise, we'll just sell the remainder here. So 4,200. I have enough food, so we're fine with that. Shall we do the caravan ambush? I think we should. Let's do that. There we go. All right. Uh, do you have a companion? No, no companions here, unfortunately. All right. So there's the fellow. I'm just going to move away for a little bit and then we're just going to press, tab, you know, not tab, press alt and click on him so that we follow him a little bit. Not too much, of course, but we just follow him somewhat. And we should be, yeah, there we go. There are the raiders. Okay, that's, that's who we want to fight. So let's do this. Let's help them out. And, uh, well, I think we'll be okay. I mean, all, all intents and purposes, it points to us being able to achieve victory. But, uh, you never know. I mean, I don't know what these guys are. Are they mounted ransackers and stuff like that? I think so, right? I think that's probably what's going to be attacking us here. Yeah, it looks as though that is indeed the case. So we shouldn't have too many problems. And, oh yeah. Uh, oh, I was actually thinking to myself, that was a nice hit. But no, we actually just hit the enemy's horse. That is not what we want. Thank you very much. No. Oh, wow. Yeah, this might be, this might be a bit of a problem. Uh, thankfully, the enemy doesn't seem to be as, um, shall we say, single-minded as the Warband AI, where they just want to couch lance you in the back every single second. But yes, <laughs> uh, that 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 happens. Yep, that happens to me way too much. All right, here we go. Nice, nice. Okay, more of that, please. I wouldn't mind getting some more medicine skill as well, fellows. So if you don't mind, you know, if you don't mind getting uh, knocked unconscious, that would be. That would be pretty perfect for me. Um, but yeah, I don't know whether that's actually going to happen. I I, I I don't know. I feel like, you know what? I feel like later on, the Doctor's Oath skill, I feel like you should probably get that at 100 rather than 125. I think you do get it at, you, you do get it at 125, right? I, I'm actually not entirely sure now. I should probably take a look at it. But personally for me, I feel like it should just be a little bit earlier in the tree. Because up until that point medicine skill is pretty tough to level up pretty slow but once you get doctor's oath it's just an absolute cakewalk it is really so much better it feels so much better to level up a skill like that and we probably want to do something similar with our surgeon as well so if he, if he doesn't take it i'm probably just going to respec him and um you know make him take the Doctor's Oath thing because that is just going to provide him with so much free medicine skill without any issues whatsoever. I'm actually still surprised that my forces are not killing enemies um, considering they have these wonderful, wonderful bows and they do have 200 in bow proficiency but they don't seem to be that effective for some reason. I, I still wonder whether it is because they are riding camels. I don't know. I mean how many kills have they gotten so far? Six. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure if that is 
that good. Is is it good for them to get six kills out of uh, however many we were attacking? I don't know, actually. It, it doesn't doesn't seem like it to me. Maybe we should go. On, I don't know. Maybe we should have gone for lancers or something like that and just gone for regular horse archers or something. I don't know. Maybe that would have been a better idea. But there you go. We actually just... Wow. We got a 1,740 reward for uh, protecting those fellows. That is absolutely fantastic. That is so incredibly good. Oh, and look at this. We've got another person here. I'm actually wondering whether I even have... Yes, I don't have enough space for more companions. That is somewhat unfortunate. We're just going to you know, sell these prisoners for roguery skill. And uh, I'm actually going to have a look and see how much I need. Yeah, we don't even have that much left. Look at that. That's just purely for the fact that we've been doing so many tournaments that it has allowed me to do this. And it is going to give me more space for another companion, which is going to be great. Okay. Uh, yeah, so all of these guys are obviously running caravans for me right now. And what I need to do is I need to figure out where the last tournament is. And then once we do that, we should be good. Are, are there any other tournaments? Amatatus and Lagata. That's actually really close by. We shouldn't have too many issues getting there. Um, yeah, Amatatus is over there. And Lagata is over in this direction. There it is. Yeah, it's up there. All right, so that's not too bad at all. Did I level up, by the way? I think I actually did level up. So let me just have a look. Yes, I did. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we're going to be going for plus 50% recruitment rate of tier 4 plus prisoners. That just generally means everything, in my opinion. And also, I don't really care about battle morale when attacking. I think it is much, much more important to have battle morale when you're defending. Because more than likely, if you're attacking, you probably have the advantage. But when you're defending, you might likely be at a disadvantage. So that's the reason why I usually take Stout Defender. Anyway, what we're going to do is... Hmm. Well, I don't actually need anything else, to be honest. Should we go for some more scouting skill? I mean, I guess. I don't know. I, I don't think that's particularly necessary, but I guess we will. And I will go for some more... Uh, I kind of want to go for some more cunning skill, actually. We're going to go for some more cunning skill here because I would like to get roguery skill leveled up as, as much as we possibly can in due time. And we are probably going to be doing some blacksmithing as well. Oh, nice. My medicine skill actually leveled up. <gasps> a, a horse. Oh, no. Lose the tournament at the fourth round. Are you serious? Oh, no. Oh, wait. What's this guy saying? Hold on a moment, friend. I need to talk to you. What do you want? I have a tournament to prepare for. Athra, the Lambs people have been running around placing bets. We know all about your arrangement. Let me tell you something. As these arrangements go, Athra, the Lamb is getting you cheap. Do you want to see real money? Win this tournament and I will pay you what you're worth. Oh. <laughs> oh, I like that. That sounds great. I will think about it. All right, we're going to win the tournament then because this horse is literally going to be selling for, I don't know, about 16,000, 17,000 maybe. And I would prefer to win the horse than not. So I am literally just going to win the tournament or try to win the tournament as best I can. Obviously, this is very much a case of if rather than, uh, you know, when, because it is very likely that I will maybe lose for some unknown reason. Oh, for some unknown reason. What, is this horse massive or is it just me? Does this horse seem really, really big to you? I don't know. It seems like the sizing is massive for me. I don't know. It, it seems like it's a lot higher. <laughs> I don't know. Am I am I imagining things? I think I, I might be imagining things. Maybe it's been a while since I've been on a one of these horses. You know, I think it's a... Is it like a big horse? I'm not entirely sure. This this is weird to me now. This is kind of strange. Oh, well, never mind. It doesn't matter. Anyway, there we go. We were able to achieve victory there. And we're now in one, one versus one situation. So that shouldn't be too big of a problem. All right. So there you go. We're through to the final round. I actually just beat Krotor. He almost got me because he only hit me one time. And I went down to like 10%. But, you know, I basically just continued overheading the, the fellow. And he was... Yeah, it was it was not too bad, but obviously we are injured, so it is a little bit more difficult. Why is this guy literally just running into me so weirdly? Did you see that? He literally just ran in without actually defending. That was strange. But yeah, the AI does tend to do that kind of thing as well. Sometimes. And I can basically just 
kind of stand here and there you go that's it so we won and now we're going to see what actually happens because those fellows were giving me 250 per time let's see what actually happens now because obviously i'm getting the horse which is perfect and let's see what the other fellow is going to give me instead maybe he's going to give me something nice i don't know Okay, please don't crash. I was a bit worried there for a second. He, ooh, he gave me 4,500. Look at that. That wasn't bad luck. Oh, yeah, he doesn't take well to betrayal. Okay, yeah, yeah, I get it. Thanks so much. But we got 4,500. We literally just gained 4,500. Is that true? Yep. Yep, it is totally true. Look at that. 4,500 from whoever it was, from the other fellow. Uh, this guy... Uh, Joculos the Chandler and uh, we obviously lost a bunch of relation with Athra the Lamb but that that doesn't yeah this is the fellow right here that we um, that we gained relation with but I don't care I don't care 4,500 and the horse that sells for oh actually it only sells for 13,000 but I think uh, this is because there's a bunch of horses here if I go to a place like Vlandia that doesn't have a particularly large horse population, then we'll probably be in a much better situation to, uh, you know, you get even more cash. Uh, at least I hope so. <laughs> maybe we'll be able to, maybe we won't. Anyway, we'll go to Swift Strike right there. That's 2% additional swing speed or whatever it is. And otherwise, there you go. Betting fraud done. We're now swimming in some cash right here. We're getting 18, we've got 18,000. How do we have 18,000 all of a sudden? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that happened, but yeah, we are very, very close to Clan Tier Two, which will enable me to get another companion and another caravan as a result of that, and then we'll be able to maybe, just maybe, join as a mercenary and partake in some vassal battles because getting to Clan Tier Two is going to enable us for vassalage as well, but it's also going to give me some party size increases, and I'm going to be very pleased with that. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.